Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Right in front of you, in fact, is a RAM kit, a 16 gig RAM kit, ARGB style. Now, this is a question coming from a colleague because he's been trying to have this to work on his PC and the lights doesn't seem to work itself. So having me to diagnose, right, let me share with you some of the findings that I find. Here we go. I've plugged these ARGB RAMs into my motherboard, as you can see here. Now, for some reasons, I'm not able to use the uh, motherboard utility known as the SROC Polychrome Sync. If I'm to connect, or should I say, link it. See, when I link it, and if I were to change any of the uh, color patterns, it doesn't work. See, my motherboard pattern will change, as you can see here, and here. But my RAMs does not. So with this say, I have, let me disengage this. I have downloaded a program from the original um, RAM website from Crucial, which is known as the DDR4 MOD utility. And once I've installed that, let me just bring you to the other screen. See, this is the utility itself. And when I turn it on, See, it works. It changes color. These are all the static colors. And one thing good about this program here, right? I'm able to select all the different patterns. Let me just set this to ARGB. Then it will just proceed with the uh, patterns that I've selected. Now, besides this, I can control the individual stick. Take for example, I select at DIM2 and I were to change this to double stack, see, it changes over here. This is DIM3, this is DIM2. So DIM2 changed the pattern and remains on DIM3. And if I am to select DIM3, I can do the same. Let's say I put motion point, see, it changes. Now, besides this, there's one thing good about this application I can set to advanced whereby okay let me just set this to all sync whereby I can select for example okay now for example I were to set at static take a look at this zone over here one to eight meaning to say you can select this respective LED on the uh, RAMs itself. Right right now I select the first zone to red. Then I can proceed on to zone two. Let's say I put green. See it changes. Zone three to blue. See it changes. It a cha it changed accordingly to the zone color that you wanted. See? It changes accordingly to what color I've selected. Besides this, you can set this to load at default, meaning to say when you start up the uh, PC itself, right, it will load this application to synchronize your RAM's ARGB. You might be asking me, would it be a better choice to have only one application to control all the ARGB components? Answer is yes. Now, there is this beauty of this program here from the website known as open RGB, make sure you check that the device, I mean, this application does support your device. There's this legend over here whereby you can check. These are the supported device. So this application itself, right, allows you to control the ARGB in one single application, which looks like this. If you have other PC components like headset, like uh, mouse and keyboard, right? You can use another application. By the way, I'll leave the uh, URL in my description. Next application I'm going to share with you is Signal RGB. Now, this is an advanced application whereby you not only control your PC component ARGBs, but also the uh, mouse, the keyboard, and your headset, or even your light strips. Just to show you here, 
See, whatever you have programmed on the application itself, it will follow. Look at the keyboard. Look at the uh, look at the uh, PC. So it will follow. Or if you are playing games, right, or watching movie, it will follow the uh, ambience. See. Again, I'll leave the URL in my description. You can have a look. Now, before you install either of this application on top of your motherboard utility or the uh, RAM software, I would advise you to remove all those applications before you install this. And to download this application called Revo Uninstaller, let me just show you. What this does is to remove all the uh, leftover files that is recited in your PC before you install a new application. So, example, if this is the ARGB software that you previously installed, you can always click on continue and select on advanced, scan. It will list out all the leftover, as you can see here, found leftover registry item. So if you to select and to delete, it will remove off clean from your PC itself. Then once you have done that, do a reboot and then install either of the application, which is open RGB or signal RGB. Either of this application, signal RGB or the open RGB allows you to control all your components using only one application. So make sure if you want to make use of either of this application make sure you uninstall whatever is downloaded or installed in your pc once that's clean right then install this this will prevent conflicts like your argb not able to work and things like that all right i've come to the end of sharing with you the argb effects on my rams and if you guys like my content, do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care, goodbye, see ya.